Individual Performance Commitment and Review Form, IPCRA for Part 1 to 4, School Year 2021 to 2022. This form is an Excel-based version of the Part 1 to 4 of the Individual Performance Commitment and Review Form or the IPCRA as prescribed in Deped Order Number 2, Series of 2015. It is intended to assist teachers, ratings in the preparation for their IPCRA form RPMS phases, the IPCRF and the development plan during performance planning and commitment phase accomplish IPCRF with computed final rating during performance review and evaluation phase. The data gathered using this tool will help the rater in identifying the needs of teachers and in providing appropriate interventions. This tool shall be accomplished by each teacher when all parts 1 to 4 are accomplished, the teacher should print and submit this tool with a portfolio to the reader for final review and assessment. Overview Please open this workbook with a Microsoft Excel 2010 or later. The Excel workbook has 11 viewable sheets. Encode the read this encoding sheet proficient that is the green color sheet tab that is IPCR at 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the proficient still in green colored sheet tab encoding sheet for the highly proficient that is blue colored sheet tab that is under IPCRF Part 1, 2, 3, and 4. Encoding sheet proficient and encoding sheet highly proficient. The sheet is partially locked and only certain parts or the information box on top, spaces for ratings, and the name of approving authority at the bottom are unlocked for encoding. This is where you will encode the ratings that you have obtained in all classroom observation periods that the COT 1 and 2 as reflected in the COT 2 rating sheets and from the supplementary materials that the RF you have provided in applicable objectives. This is where you will also encode your IPCR rating, the quality, for the other objectives. The sheet automatically computes for the average transmitted rating of your ratings will be the rating for the quality of the classroom observable objectives in the RPMS. The final ratings are automatically reflected in the IPCR Part 1 and IPCRF Part 3. You need to open the workbook, the Excel, that is Microsoft Excel 2010 or later. Click Enable Editing when a prompt appears. You click Enable Macros or Enable Content when a prompt appears. Click Update when a prompt appears. Then read and understand all the content of, of this, read this sheet. Then click Begin at the bottom to start. For the encoding IPCR ratings, encode all the required information at the uppermost portion of the sheet. Input the name of the employee. Rating, position, bureau, the division, the name of rater, position of rater, date of review, type also the name of the approving authority at the bottom of the sheet. Input all the ratings for the classroom observation period you have been observed and the ratings for the supplementary materials or the TRF you have provided in applicable objectives. The sheet computes for the transmitted RPMS rating for quality for the classroom observation objectives based on the ratings that you encoded. Double check if all ratings in the necessary queue columns are filled in on both and encoding sheet and the IPCR part 3 take note of and follow the instructions found on the right side of some objectives ensure that the final numerical and adjectival ratings reflect on the space at the bottom of the sheet. Accomplish the competencies part of the IPCRF. You need to open the IPCRF part 2 sheet to begin encoding. Input the number of competency indicators 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for each and the 6 categories of core behavioral competencies to have 
that you have demonstrated during the performance cycle. B. Preparing the development plans. Open the IPCR Part 4 sheet to begin encoding. Encode your strengths and develop needs for both the functional competencies and the core behavioral competencies. Input your corresponding action plan, timeline, and resources needed. And last, submitting IPCRF Parts 1 to 4 to your reader. Read all four sheets, the IPCRF Parts 1 to 4 that you have accomplished in the required number of copies. Submit this to your reader together with your RPMS portfolio. There will be a face-to-face -face validation of the IPCRF between the reader and the reader. It is developed by Angelo D. Uy, the school principal too of Binyang City Science and Technology High School, School Division Office of Binyang City. Thank you, sir, Angelo, for giving us this copy. Let us begin. Are you ready, teachers? Name of employee, example, teacher Eloisa. Position, teacher one. School division, example, Bacoor City. And then the rating period is the school year 2021 to 2022. Name operator, example, teacher Eloisa. Position, master teacher one. Can be also your principal or your head teacher. Data review, example, is July 15, 2022. As you can see here, we have different KRAs. So, let us check now. Let us try to answer the KRA 1. So, example, the COT 1 rating given to you is 5. And the COT rating 2 is still 5. For the objective 2, as you can see here, kapag ayaw dito teachers, mag-alert naman niya. So, sinal numbers 1 to 5 lang. Example, the, um, the score is 4. Okay, so now let's move to the objective 3. Take note, objective 2 is non-observable. Uh, I mean, hindi siya nasa classroom observation. So, yan yung research base. And then objective 3 is COTs, example. Okay. Now for the objective 5, still COT. Example, the given is 7. Next is 7. For the objective 6, still COT. It is 6. And then example is 7. Okay, now. So we have set A, ito yung mga supplementary materials. So set B, yung naka blue, that is the COD or the TRF. So here, for objective 7 to 10, accomplish only the white cells on the set A or B that you used. Leave the other set back. We read content of column K, quality rating, column N, aberration, column O, score, corresponding to the set that you did not use. Okay? So let's check. Let's try. Okay, example is 6. So, ayaw nga pala, right? Kasi 1 to 5 nga pala. So, but before that, we need to delete first yung mga nasa column K, N, and O. Para hindi siya maging 0 ang score. Example ko ang gagawin nyo ay set A, i-delete natin yung set B. Under column K and column A and O. Now, let's proceed to the objective 8, the same thing. Kung ang gagamitin mo ay set A, i-delete mo yung content ng set B. Kung ang gagamitin mo ay set B, i-delete mo yung content ng set A. Para hindi zero ang maging sagot na
objectives now do the objective nine so the same thing so this time set b ang sasagutan natin so dinidik ko ang content ng set a okay so next let's proceed to the objective eight, 10 so again trf ang ginawa ko okay so there you go next so i-delete ko yung content ng objective 10 okay now let's proceed to objectives 11 to 19 so napakadali na nito so ito na yung gagamitin natin so again sorry kapag ayaw talaga mag alert naman yan kung mali na input nyo kasi dapat hanggang 5 lang okay so example lang to and then after that you have now your final rating that is 4.250 and the adjective rating is very satisfactory okay so don't forget to write the approving authority okay now let's proceed to IPCR part 1 proficient so ito na yung pinaka summary na ang ginawa natin kanina sa encoding sheet proficient. So, wala na kayong gagawin dito. Ito yung ipiprint nyo. Depende kung ilang copies. Usually, three copies ang ito sinasubmit. Personal copy, isa sa division office, at isa sa school ninyo. Okay. The IPCRF2, ito yung core behavioral competencies. Okay. So, let's answer. Example. For the self-management is a four. For professionalism ethics, 3. For the results focus, 2. Example lang to teachers, ha? And then for teamwork, 4. Service orientation, 4. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the IPCR Part 3 proficient. Okay, so, makikita nyo dito, teachers, for objective 7 to 10, you need to manually type in the colored cells and the quality ratings for the set A or B used in IPCR part 1. So, hindi siya na ilagay automatically. So, ang gagawin mo, pupunta ka dito sa ginawa natin kanina. Sa in-encode natin kanina. So, okay. So, check natin. So, kanina sa objective 7, 8, 9, and 10 is 5, 5, 4, 4. Okay. Now, let's go back. So, encode natin 5, 5, 4, Okay, so the same na ang final rating natin. Yung kanina, at saka yun ngayon. 4.250 and that is very satisfactory. Okay, so we're done, teachers. So thank you sa nag-develop nito kay Sir Angelo D. Uy ng school principal 2 ng Binyang City Science and Technology High School, School Revisions Office of Binyang City. Thank you, sir. And then now, the part for the development plan. Okay, so gagawin niya, sasagutan niya yan. And then ito naman, blue parts ay para sa mga highly proficient teachers. Those are the uh, master teachers. Okay, so the same thing. Iba nga lang, mas mataas nga lang yung level nila. Okay, I hope teachers, you learned something from me today. So, don't forget to subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. And then, kung gusto nyo ng soft copy, ilalagay ko dito sa aking comment box or sa description box, ipipin ko. So, thank you for watching!